Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are diving into a, another exciting topic that is Google Cloud. So in today's video, we'll explore how to deploy a React app on Google Cloud Storage. But if you have been following along, you know we have already covered how to deploy a React app on Azure in our previous videos. Now it's time to step in the world of Google Cloud and see how deployment works here. So get ready to learn, experiment and deploy together as we break it down step by step. So let's get started. So in today's video, we'll break the process down into two main parts. First, we'll create a simple React app and generate build folder and get it ready for the deployment. Then we'll jump into the Google Cloud portal and go step by step through actual deployment process. So let's open a command prompt and start by creating our react app so i'll quickly open the command prompt. i'll create a react app so i'll i'm using this npx create react app and then we'll give the name of the folder demo app let's create so it will start the installation process while creating the demo app so it is installing the react react dom and react scripts and creating a template so it will take some time to download so currently i, ha I have used this npx create react app command to create a react app but nowadays it is uh, not in mostly it's in old version we use this but uh, the support for the react community is still there to use this uh, npx create react app for the old project so that's why i'm using this npx create react app so now i've created the folder so now let's go inside the demo app and then let's do npm install one more time and then let's open in vs code so we'll update some code inside or update some this app.js file so let's quickly open app.js and let's i will remove this content and we'll add one more h1 tag and we'll enter a welcome to Welcome to Technoar. We'll print this on the UI once app is running. So let's quickly go open the terminal and let's try to open our app. PM start. So it is starting the app and so now if you see the welcome is printed on the UI welcome to Technoar. So now let's quickly create a build folder. So I'll use, I'll again stop the execution and then npm run build so it will automatically create one build folder in our root directory if you see the build folder is created it is creating and creating the optimized production build so we'll use this uh, build folder while deploying the uh, this react app on google cloud so now let's quickly go to the google portal and then we'll create a bucket in google storage so i have logged into my uh, account and this is the uh, landing page of the google cloud uh, or the portal uh, then in that uh, the default project is already selected but if, if in your case you can create a new folder in this uh, window or you, by clicking this you can uh, enter the details and create a new project but i'll using the existing project so i'll use this uh, new project and let's go to this side menu and then select this cloud storage and go to the buckets so now let's click on the create button so it will open a new window where we need to fill some details so if you see the create bu bucket uh, new ui is open where we need to fill the details so we have to enter the bucket name so i'll use the react react app p 
pkd101 so it is validating if the bucket name is already present then it will show you the error message otherwise it is it will show you to click on the continue so now let's click on the continue and here we'll use the region only uh, will not use the multi region or dual region and uh, uh, as we we are doing uh, i'm using the free account so i'll use the most of things as uh, uh, default one so but in your case if you want to update anything or uh, depending upon the requirement you can change the uh, default settings so the storage class and your data I'll use the standard one and then let's click on the continue again so and let's click on the create public access will be prevented so I'll click on the confirm so it is automatically validating the details that we entered and accordingly it is creating the bucket and if you see your bucket is created react app bkt1 and the location that uh, that uh, is uh, the bucket is created is in uh, east us so now let's click on this created bucket it will open a new window and let's upload the build folder that we have already created for the react app so let's click on the i'll use i'll uh, directly upload the folder so i'll use the upload folder option and in that i will upload this build folder so there are 15 files that need to be uploaded so it will take some time to upload you can see the upload is in progress so now it is in a couple of files are in still in progress it will take some time to upload and once the all the files are uploaded i think the 15 files are successfully uploaded so now uh, before we start with the console or terminal to create or to de uh, deploy the react app before that we have to create one yml file Let's quickly create a YML file. I have already copied some content for which is required for the YML file. So let's copy this and let's create app.yml file in the root directory app.yml and then let's save this where we uh, mention the default, the initial path uh, uh, of the build folder and uh, the URLs. So let's save this and again let's go to the google portal and then let's upload this file so i'll use i'll upload the file and then let's go back let's click on the app.yml if you see the upload the app.yml is uploaded inside the bucket so now let's open this cloud shell and in that we'll try to create one folder and in that folder we'll try to deploy our first react app so i have already pointed to this uh, my new project so if you see the project directory that our project is new project so i have already pointed to this new project so now uh, i'll use i'll create one more uh, folder uh, inside this new project so I'll use uh, the command that is mkdir to create a directory and I'll use I'll give the name react app one and let's, I have already copied a couple of commands to deploy the app so here is the command uh, which is uh, which means uh, we have to mention the bucket name and the app name so the bucket name I'll just will just one more will copy this bucket name and then we'll update over here and that we have already created a react app one folder so I'll enter the folder name and let's copy this command and then quickly paste it over here and let's click on the enter so it is building it is synchronizing the state and it is starting the synchronization and copying the react app inside the bucket now it's copying the yml file so it will take some time to copy all the uh, all the files and then create a build folder for this so now if you see all the files are created so now let's go inside the uh, directory that we have created so cd react app 1 now we are in react app one so now we have to run one more command to start the deployment so we have to hit this gcloud 
space app deploy so it will start the deployment process and if you see it is uh, it is asking for please enter a numeric choice so we are using we are doing some demo purposes so now we will use the default one that is one and then it is creating the app engine for our application and setting it up in the region that you have seen on the screen Asia East now it will ask do you want to continue then we'll uh, click on we'll enter the yes or why and then click on the enter so now it is updating the service it will take a minute to complete this process the deployment is done and our application or our, uh, so our react app is deployed if you see deployed the service and here have created some default path so let's copy this or let's click on this default url and you can see our app is deployed successfully on google cloud so welcome to technorum is printed on the ui with this default url which given by google cloud so in this way you can deploy your app or static app uh, using the google cloud so there are two ways you can uh, with the help of this uh, console uh, you can uh, follow, uh, create an app and deploy it otherwise you can drag and drop the build folder inside this bucket and you can deploy your app so a quick recap what we have seen so far so in this video we have first uh, created a react app using this npx create react app uh, and uh, we created a build folder and then we uh, jump into the google cloud portal where we created a uh, first we have seen the default project to create a new service or a new storage we have to set up a default project and then we have created we have moved to this google cloud storage and where we created a bucket and inside this bucket we have uploaded our build folder and followed some commands to deploy our react app so that's all how you can deploy your static web app, a static website on Google Cloud. So that's it. So if you found this video very helpful, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to support this channel. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop in a comment section. I'll respond to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day.